This is Takashi in Japan. He's a big YouTuber here in Japan, and you've been doing it for about two years. A couple years, yes. Yeah. Your English,、uh, you've been learning. Like, we're trying to figure this out. Distinguish and differentiate. What are the differences between these two words? So, I don't know. It's the same. It's the same. Like, when, when I translate、yeah. on Google, it's, it's the same Japanese. <laughs> the Japanese is k u b e t s u r u I'm really trying to help. differentiate, I would say, is. Chigayo wakari, wakeru. You're trying、mm. to figure out what's different about two things. Distinguish、mm. is. <laughs> you're trying to. It's,、uh, we'll have to talk about this later. Maybe somebody in the comments can help you. But,、um, Takashi, you've been、uh, doing YouTube for a few years and you're kind of like the, the big interview guy for foreign audiences of topics in Japan. And、uh, we just took another video. If you want to make sure to watch it, is、uh, Takashi reacting to Abba and Preach's reaction to his video on、uh, cheating in Japan, cheating culture. So that was a good topic, but、uh, I won't jump into that because you can watch the other、I、video. A lot to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about there. But today we just kind of want to talk about living in Japan as, you know, as a Japanese guy. Let's ask a general question though. How old are you? 24. So you started YouTube at 22. Yeah,、uh, the last year of university. Where did you go to university?、Uh, the name of university?、Uh, Me- it you- it、okay. could be whatever. Me- Meiji. 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 Meiji University. It's、Tokyo. close to. <laughs> <laughs> close to where we are now. Yeah, It's yeah, okay, yeah, I don't mind. Setagaya. Yeah, yeah. And、uh, did you grow up in Tokyo? No, I was born and raised in Nagoya. Okay, okay. Which is, I think, I believe, the third biggest city. Biggest city in Japan,、yeah. Tokyo, Osaka. Some people say Fukuoka, some people say Nagoya, some people say Yokohama, but like one of the biggest cities in,、right. in Japan. Of- but like I came to Tokyo at age of 18、mm-hmm. for university. And then since then I'm living here. Yeah, so six years, seven years here.、Yeah. Okay. I want to ask though、uh, some questions about your Gen Z, technically uh, 24. Uh, in the US, we would say Gen Z. In Japanese, you don't say Generation Z, though. <laughs> like, Z is、uh, Jidai. It's, it's not that common. Maybe some people say, maybe there's a word in Japanese,、yeah. but like, I don't know. I don't know. Do you feel like you relate to a lot of people who are also your age, like in Japan? Who, yes, but only with people who are in the same industry,、mm, like, like content creation yeah, or yeah. Like something different from other people. I, I came to Japan, I'm 33. I came to Japan and. Oh, you're、like, 33? Yeah, I'm, I'm like almost 10 years older than you. So when I first came, yeah, I know I'm old. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, I, thought, I thought you were 28 or something. 20, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think that, but I, <laughs> I kind of think I still am sometimes because COVID kind of、oh. happened around when I was 29 and it just feels like a big break. You know, when I first came to Japan, it was like 2010.、Um, things are really different.、Uh, Halloween. Was not even a big thing. I think my generation started the Halloween in Shibuya trend. But they tried to stop it now. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to stop it. <laughs> it's, a, it's almost Halloween. I'm sad. But literally, when I first came, Instagram was not a thing.、Um, and、uh, 2010. 2010. And credit cards you could not really use in Japan, in Tokyo. And still not. Yeah, <laughs> but it's getting better. I, it's getting better. <laughs> In these last 13 years,、mm. I think Japan has changed a lot. My question is Do you think Japanese people your age are more open to not joining a traditional Japanese company? Or、um, is it kind of similar to. Yeah, I think the conception of not being the same company for years,、mm-hmm. for decades, it's getting. More common,、mm-hmm. but still at the end of the day, I think more than 95% of people really <laughs> 95% because all my friends from university, yeah, they're salary men. And what I what I find out recently is that many of my friends from university、mm. they say, Oh, after three years, five years, I'm gonna get out of this company. I just I'm just gonna be here five years, three years.、Okay. I'm not gonna go. Workplace Saturday on Sunday. I'm not gonna be a slave. Yeah, now it's been a few years. That was that、yeah. was so. Are they gonna quit now? Or <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so they just they're kind of stuck right now. Yes, and are they a I, slave for the corporation in some way? In some way, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't like to use that word, but it's a slave, I think.、It's、yeah, corporate, slave, corporate.、Yeah. Slave. And then I didn't understand how people can work 
until 60 or 70 at the same company for years, for、mm-hmm. decades. I couldn't understand. That's why, that's why my dad does,、mm-hmm, by, mm-hmm. by the way. But, but now I kind of I kinda know why. Because,、mm. you know, I've seen my friends graduating university, entering a new company, and now, like, it's been a few years.、Mm-hmm. Like, okay, this is gonna be 10 years, 20 <laughs> years, 30 years. So, like, you know, that got do. なんか全然わかんなかったけどなんで同じ会社にいるなんで同じ会社に何十年もいれるのか,なんかどういう仕組みでそうなるのかわかんなかっただって辞めたいと思,い思ったりすると思うけど多分人はでも友達見ててもうなんか慣れちゃってるそれにいやいやああもうそういう感じでもう多分人生多分全部やっていくんだと思うとちょっとなんか悲しかった。It's becomes easier to stay than to leave. It sounds like a, like, like a relationship, to be honest. A lot of people are in a relationship and then it's just easier to stay than to break up.、Yeah. I think this word is good for this situation, like end up being there. I think you my, end up being like my <laughs> friends are. My, my, my friends didn't plan to stay there for years, years.、Yeah. But at the end of the day, they ended up. Because time flies so fast, you know? And, and they're like the same age 23, 24, 25. Yes, yes. So you're. They, 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 go, they go work Saturday, Sunday. Days. How many, on average, I'm gonna, I know it's like hard to say average. How many hours a day do you think your friends are working? Okay, so I have some friends from university who. Working in the, I think I would say very normal companies.、Mm-hmm. Like nothing, nothing different. Like it's not like black company. Yeah. You know, like black companies.、Uh, is, yeah, black companies. <laughs> of course, should I explain?、Okay, so. A black company is basically what in, in a term that we use in Japan to. You only get like few hours sleep. <laughs> describe a company that's very bad and like、mm-hmm. no overtime pay and you don't get to sleep. And it's funny because the opposite. Some, some, some people the opposite, actually. Work to die. Yeah, and work to death. It, that funny thing is <laughs> the opposite is a white company. <laughs> so it just so, sounds, it and, sounds like slightly、okay. racist,、yeah. but it's just the meaning of white and black opposites. And、uh, yeah. So yeah. they don't work at these black companies. No, not at all. Not at all. They get paid enough. And then, like, at least they have like social activities, to,、mm-hmm. you know, things to do, right? Do, they, Friends, do you think they enjoy? Like, no, not at all. They all, so when we hang out on Sunday night,、mm-hmm. they always complain, oh, it's Monday, it's Monday, it's Monday.、Mm-hmm. It's Monday. Um, How do you feel about that? Are you、uh, just like.、Uh, I stopped saying that. I used to say, like, oh, like, you know, get the fuck out of that job, you know, like, get、uh, a new job, you know, like, do something new, you know, like, like even you don't need to quit to、mm-hmm. start something, right? You can, you can just work in the company,、mm-hmm. but still, you can try something new. And then if you. Get money from the other one,、mm-hmm. you can quit, right? But, like, you cannot you cannot really do that if you're a、yeah. salaryman. Like, you don't you don't have that energy, right? I, the, yeah, the brain energy. Yeah,、right? and then everything. So, I stop saying that anymore. Like, I just. So, yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, I just accept. How, how do you. How did you find yourself doing YouTube then? Because you were going to college. Like, what was your major? English and American literature. Okay. Did you always like to do videos? Like, or. Did you just like talking to people?、Mm-hmm. So I like watching movies. Yeah. I even wrote Final Cities about the movie. You know, Godfather?、Oh. Yeah. You have、yeah, yeah, the yeah. Godfather. Wow, wow, you're a true it's film, it's film teacher, fan. It's because it's American YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I've always wanted to work in the movie industry, either something creative,、mm. you know, including YouTube. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, and YouTube was something. That I could I could start without、yeah. any cost. I see. So I just started and、uh, yeah, I didn't, I don't, I'm an introvert, so I don't like to talk to people randomly. I'm not that type of person. <laughs> I, ca- I cannot do that. That's what you do for a living. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I think the thing is, I can be, I can act like I'm an extrovert, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I'm not. Okay. okay.、Yeah, but, but I think I'm good at acting like I'm an extrovert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that, that's, a, that's a good skill to have. But yeah, so I'm, I, I'm curious then. So you, You started YouTube because you wanted, you were a creative person already.、Uh, but did you travel abroad and s- learn at,、uh, before this? So, first time I went outside of Asia、yeah. was last year. No way. Yeah. S- outside of Asia. Outside of Asia. So, I- I've been to Korea, Vietnam, some places、yeah. before that. 
But, but after in- COVID, I finally、yeah. got out of age. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, how'd you learn、uh, your English? Is it just from school? No,、yeah. the thing is, English and American literature department,、yeah. we learned literature、uh-huh. in Japanese with, with Japanese teachers. Interesting. You, know? you learned American literature in Japanese. You know? So, you didn't really maybe, use maybe, English. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not about the language, it's about the literature, it's about the book, right? Right, right. So, right. I mean, so. We need to read English, but、right. we don't need to speak. You know, we don't need to communicate in English because, you know, okay, that's、okay. not the point of English and American literature, right? Yeah, yeah. So, except me, every friend s that I have in English and American literature classes, they、mm-hmm. don't speak English yet because they don't need to, you know? Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Well, that、but、makes they, sense. They, but they got some knowledge of American literature. Sh- but,、yeah. you know, like, even if you have knowledge of American literature, Doesn't mean you speak English, right? Okay. That,、so. You know what? That, that makes sense. Because if you study like some foreign language in college in America, a lot of people don't actually become super fluent. Or maybe、yeah. if they study like French literature, they don't speak French. But exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I understand that. But still, I mean, I, I, I've learned French for three years in university as a second、did. language because <laughs> English was the first one, right? Right, 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 right. And I don't even know how to count now. <laughs> count number two. Andu toi. Andu toi. That's all I know. That's one to three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, see,、so、you, you still get, you paid good money for this. <laughs> yeah. And then when I went to Fran- France, like last month,、mm-hmm. and, you know, Paris,、oh, yeah. Paris people accept you to speak French, even though you look foreign, right? Okay, so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. That, so was, that was difficult. That was difficult. <laughs> so, you, because you went to Europe for the first time、yes. uh, last month. Yeah. But, you know, it, I think it's interesting that you. Even though you haven't traveled a lot and you didn't grow up speaking English, you became the guy who interviews people in Japan, in English, foreign and Japanese, for a foreign audience. I think that's something very unique and、uh, interesting that it's not like you are Kikoku Shijo. You're not like somebody,、uh-huh. a Japanese person, went abroad and then came back. I think that's why that's what makes me kind of special in that sense. Yeah. I'm very Japanese. You know?、yeah. I'm, like, I'm from Japan. All my friends are Japanese. Like, my first foreign friends, like, last year, a couple of years ago. Yeah. I actually、know. think it does work out because the way you ask questions are from a, you know, good base point of just guy who is from Japan and is asking these、mm-hmm. questions, you know, very simple. And you ask very good, open ended, simple questions. So people can just answer.、Right. Um, and, and also, my accent as well. I have Japanese honestly, accent. Honestly, It so, probably helps. So,、yeah. like, it's, it kind of makes special at the same time.、Yeah. In, my, in my case, because I make video you know, for people who want to come to Japan,、yeah. right? So, if I sound like very American, like, they'll be like, I look, I look Japanese, but maybe you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't sound like I'm Japanese, right? You, you lose your credentials a exactly, little bit. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> people want to see a Japanese guy. Speaking Japanese or like, yeah, clearly Japanese, and like, I think maybe、uh, your accent, Japanese accent, does、mm. help. But I don't know, do you get do do girls like your Japanese accent? Has anyone ever said that? I'm just curious. I know this is like a different topic, but how how many、ah. people talk to you in your DMs, like trying to girls, yeah, like, no, sliding. no, I mean, like, I mean, maybe, 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 maybe you can assume, but like, most of my followers are. Man, yeah, you know, like who watches anime? <laughs> watch anime, so they're asking you, like, hey, Takashi, how do I where do I meet the ladies in Japan? Yeah, I got lots of comments. Oh, actually, yeah, I was joking a lot, but... a lot, a lot. Wow, like, you know, you, you know, which app I can use which app? To, to meet, you know, Japanese. Oh my gosh, can we use, use Tinder? Man, can we talk、like、about Tinder in Japan、okay. real quick? Because、okay. I've downloaded it in the past, it is so bad. <laughs> What do you mean? Because、both? all the Japanese girls, not all of them, but a huge amount of them, you know, I might even just download it for this video, but it's the back of their head, or it's like food, or it's like their I think side of their face. Because、covered. of privacy? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think one thing that it's different from Western countries,、uh, yeah. if you use Tinder as a woman, you might get judged. Yeah. In Japan. Yeah. Because, like, oh, maybe you're a whole, you know?、Like、yeah. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's problematic. Yeah. I, th- I think it's, yeah, it's different. So that's why many Japanese、mm-hmm. girls try to hide their face 
so that you know like their job their their guy friends yeah won't see it there but it's a、baby. completely like guessing game <laughs> so i know a lot of non-japanese people who use it are like i can't even how can i swipe right if i can't see their face and I don't know. What do Japanese people do? They just guess. Like, I don't know. Oh, like I mean, she has nice hair. I I I used to use Tinder when I was like uni student, like years years ago. But like, there's no point. I think it's hundred percent better to meet people in person. Yeah, in real life. In Japan, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking like Tinder is bad or something like that. In Japan, like I think it's hundred percent better because Japanese girls are so good at make. Making up, make up. And, <laughs> so the、uh, you you and like filters, yeah, on the yeah. photo. So you just gotta see them in person. Yeah. How common are dating apps in Japan? Uh, I think it's pretty common, especially Tinder's. Wow, Tinder. So Tinder is Tinder's the, the biggest. For sure. It's it's not、sure. Hinge or Bumble or no. Tinder, What about Tinder's the biggest? Tinder is the biggest. Maybe. Nanka. I think I've heard of Tapo. Tapo, yeah. And the、uh, Weed. With or something like that, but it really depends on the app.、Mm-hmm. You know, Tinder is for casual dating, hooking up. Tapo is something that you actually find someone who can like be in a、long、serious、term. relationship, yeah, long term,、okay. yeah. So I'm not, I'm not really sure, but usually Tapo or with like you need to pay sub subscription so that so that you know. People can be more serious because if you pay, you actually wanna. Yeah, yeah. It know, sounds like, kind of like Match. dot com in America. It's、mm-hmm. like people actually try to get married. That's interesting. I, I think like Tinder has kind of gone down for many years in the U. S.、Really? Oh, really? I think so.、Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, like yeah. Bumble or I know a few years ago it was Coffee Meets Bagel. Do you know Coffee Meets Bagel? It's it was a little more serious. Like I've heard of Bumble. Yeah. I think it's. Popular in Japan as well, but only for international people. Yeah. So if it, yes, if you want, if you're an international person and you're trying to meet somebody who speaks English, English in Japan, yeah, in Japan, your best chance is probably Bumble. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I ask you what was your favorite video you filmed so far? Oh,、well, that's a difficult question. Or one or two or three, you know. I always, it's not one video, but I always enjoy filming. Outside of Tokyo,、mm. like it's kind of it's kind of trip, but at the same time you can film.、Mm-hmm. I went to Hiroshima, I went to Fukuoka, I went to I went to Kyoto last week, I went to Yamanashi, I went to Akita. Many places I filmed.、Mm-hmm. I kind of kind of getting bored to film in Tokyo because it's it's kind of re- repeatable. Right, right. Repetitive. Yeah, repetitive. Repetitive. So. Yeah, I mean, like first time it was first time in Hiroshima. It was first time in Fukuoka for me. So. I interview people as well, and then I can see the city,、mm-hmm. and then I get to know about Japan more.、Mm-hmm. I mean, like there are so many places places I've never been to in Japan. Right. I think. Same here. Yeah. So I mean, like. Do you have like what's your top spot you recommend people to check that's not Tokyo? I mean, this is typical, but Kyoto. Okay. I was I was in Kyoto like a few days ago. It's it's so beautiful. It、it's, is. It is. It is very unique. You know, yeah. If you have time to go to Osaka, yeah. And if you don't have time to Kyoto, you're missing out. <laughs> it needs to be opposite. Need, it needs to, yeah. It needs yeah. to be those two. But what is there one that you recommend that most people don't recommend? I say Yamanashi. Yamanashi. So for、okay. me, I personally love Japanese countryside. It's really beautiful. It's I really love the Japanese countryside. countryside.、Okay. Yeah, countryside like you know rice field,、uh, mountain, everything, and people are really nice. And Yamanashi is the closest countryside from Tokyo.、Mm. You know you can get to Yamanashi for an hour. So from Shinjuku, the center of Tokyo,、mm-hmm. if you if you take one train for an, one hour, you see the rice field. Yeah, like you're in Yamanashi. Yeah, that's not. It's not because Yamanashi is a great Japanese countryside.、Mm-hmm. I'm saying that. It's because it's really convenient. Because if you want to go countryside, you actually take effort. You know,、mm-hmm. you, you actually take time, right? right? But when it comes to Yamanashi, you can go from Tokyo one day. You know, you don't need to. You don't need to stay there. You can just you know leave before noon and then come back by nine. You know, and then you can see beautiful natures.、Mm-hmm. And Yamanashi is famous for Mount Fuji as well. Wine,、mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruits, good food, and onsen. <laughs> 
This Beautiful is lakes. So I really recommend going to Yamanashi. This is the Takashi in, from Japan seal of approval. Yeah, <laughs> Yamanashi is a good place. Yeah. Uh, you brought up that people in the countryside are very, the Inaka are very nice.、Um, and I kind of agree, but.、Um, Is it the same way in like even filming videos? Is it easy to talk to people or are they? Yeah. Really? They're I mean, pretty like, open. It's not about Tokyo and the countryside. It's about the big city and the countryside, right? If、yeah. you're in the big city, you need to mind your own business, right? Like, you know, people ignore you. Right. You know, like if you, if you hit someone's you know, shoulder on the, on the <laughs>、yeah. street, nobody's gonna say sorry. Yeah, in, yeah. In Tokyo, right? Yeah. And then. It's pretty rare. I think it's not a bad thing either. Like, you need to be like that if you're in big city. Same as New York, same as London, maybe. So, true, true. If you're a countryside, you can be kind a、mm. little bit more because、uh, you, you, have, you have space to think about others.、Yeah. It's difficult if you're just a traveler, if you're just random foreigners who, who doesn't speak. In、mm. Japanese, maybe it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. True. This is like the like, advanced challenge. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> like, you actually, it's inevitable to speak Japanese. There's no English sign on the train. Yeah. There's no English, English menu in the restaurant. So, you actually need to speak Japanese. Yeah, it's it's true, inevitable. True. I、Japan. think, yeah. If you wanna immerse yourself in Japanese, it's better to go to the countryside. Because、mm. Tokyo. I mean, it's so easy to you know, get around only with English. It's,、yeah. it's so easy. It's become really easy, yeah, especially even in, when I first came in 2010, it wasn't this easy.、Yeah. Google Maps barely worked in 2010. <laughs> like,、oh. <laughs> like, it was actually pretty hard.、Um, and that, but now we have Instagram, Google Maps, Google Translate,、uh, English everywhere. Like, so、right. Tokyo has become a very good. Spot to travel. Maybe you, it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be countryside, it but it needs、no. to be outside of Tokyo at least. Maybe, maybe、oh, well, Osaka as well. I was, I was gonna say like Bunkyoku.、Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is still Tokyo, but. but like, let's say Nagoya or Fukuoka. Yeah. I went to Fukuoka last week. I'm from Nagoya, no foreigners. There are some、mm-hmm. non Japanese people, but、yeah. they are not Western. So they、mm-hmm. don't speak English either.、Yeah. You know, like maybe, I don't know, Filipino.、Yeah. I did speak English, but like Brazilian,、yeah. Vietnamese, or、like, th- there's no like white or black、mm-hmm. or like, you know, Western people. Right. And so, the, the vibe is really different. I think that's when you can really appreciate、uh, Japanese culture is if you're just surrounded by Japanese. And because I did karate for like 10 years and my karate school. In, even in Tokyo, was actually a great way to be a part of Japan and、mm. Japanese culture because no one cares about speaking English in karate、mm. class.、Mm. They just want to you know, do karate.、Mm. <laughs> I think it, it has become very easy to live in Tokyo and travel if you don't speak Japanese. But if you really want to get into Japan, you need to learn Japanese. Yeah, I mean, what, I'm, what I always say is that you don't need to speak Japanese. But at least you gotta try to、oh, learn、yeah. Japanese. There are so many. I mean, I'm not complaining. Maybe I'm complaining this, but like, there are so many foreigners who's coming to Japan don't even try to speak Japanese. You know, that's, that's、yeah. the problem. Like, you gotta.、Yeah. I mean, like, I'm not asking you to, to be fluent in Japanese, but like, at least show the effort. Because, you know, like, I was in Osaka last week and some American dude. You know, come up to me on the street.、Mm-hmm. I was with my friends, and they said, like, Oh, you, you English? English? No? Little? Little? Like, they're so arrogant. It's very like, annoying. Yeah. It's rude. I mean, it, hap- it happens not a lot, but sometimes it happens. Like,、yeah. I mean, like, like, you're in Japan, first of all, you know? Yeah. You cannot, you cannot do that. Like, I wouldn't do that if I was in Thailand. I wouldn't, like, I mean, maybe you can, maybe you can talk. In, you can, maybe you can talk to Japanese people in English, but at least you gotta be polite because you're speaking another language in another country. Yeah, and、know? I think a lot of people don't know. It's weird how they don't know how to be polite in another country.、Uh, like, oh, learn how to say thank you.、Right. You know, just like, or excuse me and thank you. Yeah. Because then they could say, sumimasen English.、Right. Like, yeah, English yeah. And then you'd feel better. Like, oh, they said sumimasen. But just to say, English little, you, you,、uh, yeah. that's a little、yeah, it's, rude. That's yeah, and yet the but, funny thing is, you do speak English, yeah, yeah. no, even, even though, <laughs> but so, so he, most people probably、yeah. don't. So he asked, he, he asked me, like, do you speak English? and I said, yes, 
、oh, but little, right? みたいな感じ。Like, it's, but I mean,、so、oh, I, I understand he assumes that I don't speak English,、yeah. but like, like, you know, like, you gotta, you gotta be careful with it. Like, Japanese people love foreigners who try to learn Japanese. <laughs> right, right. That, that is true. <laughs> And Japanese people hate foreigners who don't try to Japanese. Yeah. You know, trying to learn Japanese, right? So, you're you, either、uh, getting hate or you're either loved. <laughs> <laughs> you know so I mean? the the less the the lesson is just try to learn a little bit of Japanese. Yeah, I mean you again like you don't need to be fluent. It's a very you know, like, well, it's a very simple. Yeah, you know as in, when in Rome do as the Romans do. Exactly. You、yeah. know, or just res- out of respect, you're in、mm-hmm. somebody else's country. Like、yeah. not everyone's going to speak English. This is a. It sounds like a American problem though. Yeah, yeah. That also in、happen. general, if you're in another country, you're represent over the country, right? That's so true. So. Oh, that... You know, like if I if I if I have experience like that only with Americans,、yeah. I inevitably don't like Americans anymore. Right. I, I, of course, I like Americans, but like that's that's what I that's what I always do. Like you know, you, yeah, you, you know, might be the first per, first American a Japanese person meets. Yeah, exactly. So what I always do is that every time I say I'm from Japan,、mm-hmm. many people say like, oh, I like Japan, or I like Japanese people, or you're from Japan. I experienced that a lot in、mm-hmm. Europe,、mm. in Europe or in any country, to be honest. It's a wonderful、yeah. icebreaker because、yeah. everyone loves Japan. Actually,、yeah. being Japan- Japanese、yeah. right now is very good. <laughs> But one more thing is that maybe Japanese people they encounter before they are nice.、Mm. You know, that's why, you know, so like if I, if I have experience of, you know, with someone who is from America, really nice to me on the street. Randomly, inevitably, I'm gonna like Jap- American people, you know?、Mm-hmm. Like, so what I always say is for, for, the, for the Japanese people who's coming next year or maybe yeah, yeah, in yeah, years yeah. To, to the country I'm visiting, I wanna be nice to them for them、mm-hmm. so that like, they can have the same experience. And, and talking about that, I did wanna ask you、uh, did you hear about the whole Johnny Somali thing? The streamer,、oh, yeah. <laughs> the, U- the United States streamer.、Um, Everyone and, knows in Japan. Yeah, every- really. So, ha- where did Japanese media show that? Was Japanese media、uh, like what TV, Asahi, everything? Yeah, yeah. Now, but he's exceptional, first of all, right? He's, yeah, it was, but、uh, he's American, I, right? He's American.、Guy. He's American, but like, I think a lot of Americans are like, oh no,、uh, like, why does this have to happen?、Yeah. But Obviously, most people in the world probably hate him now. Yeah. But what was the Japan's reaction for、um, oh, when he got so like. Ma- so much hate. What about、uh, when he got arrested? Was it like people actually cheering? Or... Yeah, glad. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know it's, it's just crazy. I mean, I think everyone is pretty glad about that. What I don't like about that is that. Maybe he wouldn't do that in another country because he would, he would do that in Japan because he knows. Like Japanese people are not gonna do anything with it. Yeah. Because which... people are pride, reserved. That's what. But maybe he wouldn't do it in England. Maybe he wouldn't do that in, in France. Because, you know, people are gonna say something to, to him. Right. Right. That's what I don't like about it. Because he's targeting Japan just because Japanese people are nice. Ja- just because he knows Japanese people are not gonna do anything to him. Right. right. I really wish some Japanese person just like. Punched him in the face though. Yeah, like, but nobody did that, right? It's also like, very, it's, you can't do it in Japan because self defense.、Yeah. I think the guy who stood up, the guy who stood up to him、mm-hmm. is a, like foreign, right? He was foreign. The、right? first guy was a Korean American. Yeah, guy, right. So, Texas. like, no Japanese, you know, like、right. Japanese people on the train, they were, they, they were being quiet, yeah, yeah. even though they knew what's happening. Yeah. You know? But it's also like maybe in Japan, you don't want to like, Cause a scene,、mm-hmm. you don't want to do like meiwaku kakeru for other people, so just be quiet. But yeah, and th- that definitely pissed me off because I'm like, I, like, somebody needs to like、mm-hmm. check this guy. In general, I've seen many Western people, not foreign, I, w- I would say specifically Western people who、uh, actually look down on Japanese people. I、mm. actually seen a lot,、mm. like, you know, and、uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's just sad, but like, yeah. In what it, way do they look down?、Uh, the way they talk. 
the way the way they behave in front of Japanese people, you can tell like okay, like okay, like they actually look down Japanese people. I I think I know what you mean because if you only speak English and you've only let's say you're from the U.S. The concept of another an Asian person, since they don't speak English, maybe a Japanese person、yeah. doesn't speak English, they seem like, oh, it's like they're not intelligent. Exactly. That's what's wrong. Oh, so maybe, maybe it was wrong. Maybe they look down on no English speakers, not necessarily Japanese. No, I、people. think it could be Japanese because they assume、oh. most Japanese people don't speak.、Right. So as soon as a Japanese person who is maybe like perfectly、yeah. bilingual in both, they'll say like, wow, your English、yeah. is really good and You know, the person might say、That's、like, so, "Yeah, because I learned English." Like,、yeah. you know, stop, stop being so rude. To, That's not really good though, because、yeah. English is, it's common, it's common the language in the world, but like Chinese, Mandarin, <laughs> then, you know, it's 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 taking over. <laughs> it's taking over, right? So like, <laughs> I mean, like, but I get I get the point. Like, some people look down on the people who don't speak English. Yeah, but, like, but. but No offense, but same happens in in Southeast Asia.、Hmm. Like I know some Japanese people look down on Southeast, Southeast Asian、Asians. people in Japan. Also, when they travel, right? Wow, I know because、yeah, makes... I because I, I have friends, Southeast Asian friends, and then they always say that. I know, like, like a lot of Vietnamese people get really like. Screwed over yeah, who come yeah, to Japan who yeah, work for a Japanese fucked company. Yeah, fucked up their life. It's,、yeah. it's really it's, bad. It's,、yeah. Like Japanese company won't、yeah. pay the Vietnamese、yeah. workers. So and also when they travel to Thailand, when they try to Vietnam, you know, like they have the know, same mindset. Send 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 the mindset that Western people who look down on Japanese people coming to you know Japan. This it's it's kind of same,、yeah. you know. So yeah, well, it's every country has that problem, but you know, like、right. not not just Western country, but also Japan has that、yeah. problem, you know. Well, I, I want to ask, you know, tying this back to your channel,、um, and maybe this is like the one of the final things we can talk about. But you know, your channel is making videos for a lot of people who don't speak Japanese for like English speakers to learn about. Japan and like understand more about what the people think here,、uh, and I think it's very good because you're leaving an impact on a lot of people. I mean, you have a million subscribers, so your videos are reaching so many people. But do you think,、um, you know, Japanese people your age are watching your videos or maybe other videos about cultural difference between Japan and the rest of the world? Like, do you think people are much more aware of Japan's cultural differences now、In、because、general? of social media? Yes,、yeah. I don't think so. No, you don't think so. Because you need to speak English to do that, right?、Mm. Like, I mean, one thing I think it has changed is that on TikTok. You know you can you can watch you know like videos from abroad mm-hmm, anywhere, mm-hmm. but without any language, like just dancing or、mm. you know like stuff like that. But when it comes to cultural differences, etc., you actually need to speak English, or you can watch videos by Japanese people about foreign country,、mm-hmm. but it's not that many still yet.、Mm. You know it's not that many yet. So I think. Not really.、Okay. I mean, of course, compared to ten, twenty years ago, <laughs> still like you know, it's getting it's getting more people going abroad more.、Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I have lots of friends who study abroad、mm. when they are twenty, when they are twenty one. Now they are in a Japanese company. They don't even speak English anymore. <laughs> I have lots of friends like that. So you know, it's like they forgot the yeah the whole. And then it's even it's not like for a year. It's, it's you know like many people go abroad. Many Japanese people go abroad, but most of the time it's just a few months,、mm. at most half a year, three months. Yeah. Not many people go for years, right? Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you just go Canada, Australia for a couple months, three months, maybe you can get some English, English,、yeah. but like. You're gonna end up going to Japanese company, not be able to speak English, no foreign <laughs> friends, you know. So it's the case, I think. And then most of the Japanese friends that I have are a little bit different from other Japanese people because、mm-hmm. I was in English and American literature,、mm-hmm. and then I lived in Tokyo. Yeah. So the fact that I lived in Tokyo and then my major is English and American literature,、yeah. it's already like you know, a little bit more international compared to other Japanese people, right? But、mm-hmm. still, my friends. 
don't speak English, going to a Japanese company. I'm not saying Japanese, going to a Japanese company is bad, but like, you know, it's typical, right?、Mm-hmm. Going to a Japanese company and、uh, no foreign friends. So, yeah. So, <laughs> if, if, if you don't even live in Tokyo, if you don't even have experience going abroad, right? Because, you know, I have, I mean, like, Nagoya, my hometown. Yeah. All my friends, not all, but like, I think more than 90% of my Japanese friends from my high school, they don't even have a passport. You know, Which is crazy because Japan、yeah. is the strongest passport right now in the world.、Yeah. But there are some reasons why Japanese people don't go abroad. One,、mm-hmm. the language. You know, if you only speak Japanese, you it's, know, it's, it's, it's a little bit it's harder. Scary. It's scary and it's、yeah. a little bit harder, right? And then there are so many beautiful places in Japan, so you don't need、right. to go abroad, <laughs> right? Like, you know, we have four seasons, right? Yeah. Then we have Okinawa, we have Hokkaido. Yeah. And then other reason is that. Uh, Japan is an island country.、Mm. Anywhere you go, you gotta, you gotta go with plane. You gotta go by plane. plane right. And then, if you wanna go to America, if you, if you wanna go outside、Far. of Asia, you gotta worry about time differences. Right, right, right. It's just all and then, troublesome. Other reason is that Yen is super weak now. So, you can't, you can't really do that in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> so, weak. so, I think for me, that's the three reasons why Japanese people don't go abroad、yeah. for now. Yeah. I, I always think, this is my opinion, but I think. Japan is so full of opportunity and good food and culture, and like a lot of people want to travel here.、Mm. And it's actually almost like a cheat code if you speak English and Japanese yeah, it's... to you... experience Japan to the fullest and also go abroad and like understand what it's like outside of Japan. And you know, you can、mm. work on your YouTube channel and do so many things、exactly. because of English. I think. It's being able to speak English in the country that not many people speak English, like Japan, you take, you got so much advantage. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You, need to, you need to put effort on learning English, but you get, you get more than that. <laughs> right. Because, I mean, <laughs> there's that, so many, I mean, you can make、yeah. new friends and、yeah. you can just the opportunity of, Oh, you know, maybe、yeah. somebody needs to come to Japan and they need、yeah. somebody who speaks English and Japanese. And like, I'm、yeah. that guy. And so, and especially Japan, it's the, it's the country many people are、right. interested it's in. So, I always. So, like, my, my, it's not about my ability,、yeah. it's about my situation.、Yeah. Being able to speak English, living in Tokyo, and Japan is the country that、right. people want to come. It's so popular. Yeah. So, it's not about my ability, it's about, like, I'm just lucky. You know? Yeah, I, honestly, I feel、yeah. like I'm lucky too because I have USA. I'm yeah, between、true. USA and Japan. And I always say that the, one, a easy, the best icebreaker, you know what an icebreaker yeah, is, like when、yeah. you first meet, is I just say, I'm like, I live in Japan or, oh, I'm half Japanese. And everyone's like, oh, wow, like you live in Japan or, oh, I've always wanted to go to Japan. And, you know, people only have good stuff to say. Like, <laughs> I've, I actually was booking a flight. With、uh, American Airlines on the phone because there w a s problems online. And、uh, the American Airlines customer representative, she saw I was flying to Japan. And so she was just like, Oh, I really want to go to Japan. And she became, she was really nice and friendly because I was going to Japan. So helping me on the customer service was so good <laughs> because it, I was, you know, living in Japan. And she even said, like, ah,、oh, yeah, I want to go to Japan. I don't really want to go to China, but I want to go to Japan. And I just realized, like, being half Japanese or Japanese for you or being from Japan has become such a nice icebreaker、mm. and, you know, opportunity. It's just like we're, it's very lucky that people, it, it, impression of Japan is so high. It's really, yeah. But, Do you watch anime? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, I do. I watch anime. Like many people who are interested in Japanese culture or Japan, mainly, not all, but mainly they also watch anime, right? Right, right. And the thing is, or games, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't watch anime. So I, ca- <laughs> so I don't really have a conversation. You can't relate. <laughs> yeah, I cannot, I cannot really have a conversation with that. That's、topic, a, you know, like it's, yeah. Honestly, it, I wish I could watch. Yeah, yeah. Like, more, I mean, you could, <laughs> you could try if you want. It, It's, this is also like a mindset difference, though, I think, of like, why do Americans like、so、anime so much now? Like, com- and I would say maybe the younger generation likes anime more than before is, be- well, it's cool, 
Now, why is it cool? Maybe the reason is cool is just like, hey, guy has to train really hard and get strong and then he can beat up everybody or, you know, or the maybe for the, the woman characters too, like they they have to start. It, it doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter really in anime. Um, and it's just fun fantasy and also now cosplay is much more popular. Enjoying a fantasy world and jumping into a fantasy world where I think a lot of at least American like North American people and wherever else it's very enjoyable to jump into this fantasy world and then now Japan makes the anime so everything that you consume from this fantasy world it's like is there is there in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> see exactly yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking about yeah, which is yeah. why I think a lot of people originally this was like Disney and Disneyland a lot of people really like Disney and they could go to Disneyland or maybe Japan kind of really had like Paris for a while. I remember a lot of Japanese people really in, thought Paris was so fantasizing, cool. Fantasizing, yeah. Yeah, fantasizing and then go to Paris and you know. America as well. Yeah. I yeah. mean like or like I, I I talk shit about some Americans like It's okay. <laughs> but like I love America, you know. I confidently say that cuz I actually do like America. And the reason why I say that is as I said I learned, first of all, I learned American literature. So. <laughs> yeah. And also, I watch movies mostly from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So, for people who watch anime, mm -hmm. it's Japan. For people who watch Hollywood movie, it's America. So, and I was I was supposed to study abroad in Los Angeles. Mm. Yeah, when I was 20, but COVID happened, oh, I couldn't okay. do it. But like, yeah, I mean, I still love los angeles and new york i love the culture i love the cities even as an american when yeah. i go to like la i'm like oh it's like a movie here yeah. <laughs> even i think that yeah like, i mean oh, like, yeah it's i i really i really do like america so some of that yeah. is like mindset so jap people who like anime and video games come to japan it's just like you're kind of you can enjoy like being in your own anime mm. or being in the video game like and I would assume like people who go to America, it's like, oh, it's just like I'm yeah. in Beverly Hills. Like, yeah. And that's that's kind of like a choice, like just to m make yourself believe it for yeah. fun. And also hip hop music as well. Oh, yeah. I listen yeah. to lots of US, hip US uh, music. So, you know, like New York, I love. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like New York is so unique. Yeah. I mean, when I say America, I mean, like I've never <laughs> been to outside of Los Angeles and just New York. New York so I cannot, I cannot really generalize. But yeah, I, I really, and then everyone loves America in Japan. <laughs> Japanese people love America. It's never, it's, 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 such it's a... so one thing, the biggest culture shock that I had in Europe was not many people like America. Some people actually hate it. Some people actually hate America, you know, some Londoner, some. I can believe it. <laughs> yeah, people in Paris, they don't like America. That was biggest culture shock for me as someone from Japan. Because Japanese people love America, <laughs> including me, you know, like, but I get that because, you know, most of Western media we consume, Japanese people consume uh, from America. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we have the, we have the image of mm -hmm. American guys, like gentlemen, mm. like, you know, we have the, we have the, we have the, um, Gosh. we, we kind of fantasize like American school. You know, American like, school is fun, though. I will say. Oh, yeah. I'm a I actually do think it was very fun. <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I really, yeah, I mean, but that was biggest culture shock I ever had in Europe. Like, I, I was so shocked that not yeah. many people like America outside of America, except Japan, maybe, except, <laughs> maybe Asia in general, but yeah. Japanese people, like, love, love <laughs> America. <laughs> But well, including me, I love America too. I also love um, yeah. America. I think America is just such a. It sometimes mm. when I really think about it, I'm like, this place, America is so crazy. I love it. <laughs> like, and I love so how crazy. Americans love America. So much. <laughs> like, they boom, really one, love number America. One. <laughs> Patriot. <laughs> pew pew pew. Number one best country in the world. Mm. But like that vibe is, I don't know. I, I like the energy from a lot of American people. So mm. I'm going back to the U.S. And, for a bit and. Um, I'm going to soak in the They're energy. also f very friendly. Yeah. Um, one thing I noticed that is yeah. I think American people are more friendly than Europeans. It's very possible. Yeah. Uh, at least in LA. At least from sure. my experience, 
like yeah i mean american you can talk to people on the street I think America, maybe yeah. it happens but like not that common in europe compared to the states mm, okay. yeah especially yeah. paris <laughs> yeah yeah well i've heard a lot of things um, about oh, if, you, if you speak french maybe you can do that right right but, but uh, yeah I'm, I'm glad we're saying good things about the u.s i think the u.s is a lot of fun i i think it's funny that you said a lot of stereotypes is americans are gentlemen when i think especially now if you were to ask the internet like are americans gentlemen they'd say like no like americans are like the worst worst for rude and not like um i don't know treating women poorly maybe is a better really? better stereotype for, well it depends obviously internet versus real right, life right. and then also where where it's like where are you located are you located in miami or la like are there fuck boys or but asia has that stereotype as well right asian guys oh asian guys are like sexist yeah and not gentlemanly mm. but in reality like yeah you, you actually could find very uh, masculine um gentlemanly dudes even in japan sometimes i meet yeah guys in japan I'm like man this guy's like he's the man <laughs> yeah but i learned that at the end of the day it really depends you know yeah it's like... just but that's exactly why you know your channel is so good and you know because you can interview a bunch of people and see like different opinions and yeah. people get this knowledge from yeah. it, it this would not be possible you know 10 years 10 years ago 13 years ago yeah. so um it's it's just great to see how knowledge can be spread so well obviously yeah. and, and i think you're doing a great job with unbiased opinions or unbiased questions to share this information to the world try not to be yeah one one side yeah. try to be neutral, neutral. As as I can. yeah it's it's difficult but it's, like because you gotta do that since i have international followers some of my followers are from America, mm. some of my followers from India, some mm. of my front followers from China, some are from the Brazil, you know? So you cannot be one side. Maybe if you have 100% Japanese followers, you can be one side. Mm -hmm. You know, Japan's great, something like yeah. that. I cannot do that because, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I cannot really do that, you know? But, you know, you being neutral and has helped you grow this big and, you know, now you've been on people are reacting to your videos you know i i think it's really cool like I, basically i just want to say keep doing it and like i'm excited to see what what's going to happen next what what do you have planned next for your channel is there anything big or are you just going to keep doing the same thing and uh, keep going as much as i can first yeah. and then uh, travel more <laughs> travel more but i want to film in all over japan you know like i don't want to st stuck in tokyo mm -hmm. like i really enjoying going outside of tokyo mm -hmm. two reason why i can film mm -hmm. various japan yeah and second i can get to know about japan mm -hmm. more than i do right now i even though i make videos about japan mm -hmm. But just because I'm Japanese, I have more knowledge than other people yeah. in the world. But, you know, I need to, I need, I mean, there are so many places I haven't so been to. Japan has 47 prefectures. I think I've only been to like 20 or something, like 15 or something. Right. And Japan, every prefecture has their own unique, you know, good and, goods and bads, right? so that's where yeah. i uh i yeah. always say like japan like traveling japan it feels like pokemon yeah. where you go to oh. a different location it's like different music different right, food right. different pokemon exactly but maybe and, same as america you know california and texas new york seattle it's all different right like and i've had a uh, in miami there's so many people speak spanish more than english yeah, that's what i have that's so unique you know the same as japan you know if you go to okinawa you know, different, I mean, same language, but kind of different language. Mm -hmm. If you go to, I don't know, if you go to, yeah, like North Japan in winter, you're going to see different True. world. True. <laughs> right. And I think that's yeah. like the whole fun thing about life and traveling is yeah. just you just go somewhere, experience something different and learn the culture. Yeah. And, Love know, for, traveling. But for people who can't travel, 
they have Takashi. They have yeah. your videos. <laughs> prepare, be prepared. Be prepared. Anyway, I want to end the interview or the podcast here, but is there anything else you want to say? Um, oh, if you want to come to Japan, don't come in June, July, August, September. June, rainy season, July, August, super hot. And this year, I realized that September is still hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's summer goes to September. Yeah. But winter is not too bad. Yeah, winter, winter so, is not too bad. Uh, I would, that's your recommendation. I would actually say something else. I would say you should come in July and August if you really enjoy beaches and summer festivals. Oh, summer festivals. Because summer festivals are an extrovert's、yeah. paradise. My most, I'm extroverted. My most favorite Japanese culture is、uh, Natsumatsuri, summer festival. Which is mostly July, August, <sighs> September. So beautiful. Fireworks. I love seeing people walking around like happy, just、yeah. like lifting the omikoshi. So the yeah, only yeah. problem is it's very, very hot. So you have to be prepared. Weather, How- weather wise, I think March, April, March, April, May, October, November is good. Yeah, good. weather wise. Weather wise. But if you're from、uh, like Miami,、yeah. I think somebody from Miami is going to be fine. In Japan in the summer.、Uh, <laughs> oh, and then you don't need to come to Japan on Christmas because it's nothing special. I think it's more special in Europe or America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of Halloween is special, but like they try to stop now. <laughs> yeah, they're actually, so you did bring that up. But Halloween, Japan is trying to stop doing Halloween in Shibuya, especially、yeah. because last year、uh, in Korea, there was like this. Big, yeah. yeah, that.、Uh, 100 people. 100 people died. Yeah. From the crowd. All right. Anyway, thanks,、uh, Takashi, for being on the pod or this、uh, interview podcast. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm g o n n a make a video about the topic, what we, what we discussed, why all Japanese people love America, USA. <laughs> And so, I am g o n n a ask him as someone who's half Japanese from America. So, you know, I'm、yeah. g o n n a interview Japanese people. Maybe I haven't uploaded yet when this,、uh, this video is uploaded, but like, yeah, check my channel. Arigato. Azan. All right. Ja, o a r i m a s h o u Peace. Peace.